Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? Hello friends, welcome to Circle Time in Miss April's classroom. My name is Miss April. What's your name? I'm so glad you joined me today. We're going to learn lots of new things. Let's start with our weather song. Ready? What is the weather, the weather, the weather? What is the weather, the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? What is the weather, the weather today? Okay, friends, let's look out of our weather window so we can see what the weather is today. Ready? Look, what's the weather like today? Ooh, I see lots of clouds in the sky. That means it's cloudy. Can you help me make a weather sentence? Perfect. Let's pick out a weather picture. Which picture shows a cloudy day? If you chose this picture, I agree. It shows lots of clouds. It represents a cloudy day. Let's add it to our weather sentence. Perfect. Can you help me read our weather sentence? Great. The weather is cloudy. Great work. We'll read it one more time. The weather is cloudy. Awesome. We need to get Brittany and Bobby Bear dressed for a cloudy day. It's also a little cool outside. So we'll make sure they're dressed for a cool cloudy day. Brittany and Bobby chose their clothes already. So we'll talk about what kind of clothes they chose and the colors that we see. Let's start with Brittany's clothes. Brittany chose this shirt. What color is the shirt that Brittany chose? If you said red, you are correct. Brittany chose a red shirt. Is it a short sleeve shirt or a long sleeve shirt? Yes, it's a short sleeve red shirt. Let's put the shirt on Brittany. Awesome. What bottoms did Brittany choose today? Brittany chose long pants. What color are her pants? If you said blue, you are correct. Brittany chose blue pants to wear today. Awesome. She also chose these shoes. What color are her shoes? Yes, they're red. Let's put the red shoes on Brittany. Perfect. Now we need to get Bobby Bear dressed. Bobby Bear chose this shirt. What color shirt did Bobby choose? If you said yellow and green, you are correct. Bobby chose a yellow shirt with some green numbers and a green collar. Let's put this shirt on Bobby. Perfect. He also chose these pants. What color are the pants that Bobby chose? Yes, he chose green pants. They match the green numbers on his shirt. He also chose shoes that are the same color as the numbers on his shirt and his pants. What color are his shoes? Yes, his shoes are green. Great work, everyone. You are doing really good at looking at colors and telling me what color they are. Perfect. Now, Bobby and Brittany are all dressed for a cool and cloudy day. Now it's time to talk about our letter of the week. 
Do you remember the name of our letter? If you said the letter P, you are correct. This letter is the letter P. This is our uppercase P and our lowercase P. Yesterday, we looked at pictures of letters and you showed me a thumb up if it was a P or a thumb down if it wasn't a P. Today, we're going to look at pictures that start with the letter P. That means they start with the P sound because P makes the P sound. Can you say that sound with me? P. Great. Okay, let's look at our first picture. What do you see? It's a pizza. I know that pizza starts with the letter P because I hear the P sound at the beginning. Listen, pizza. Did you hear it? Perfect. Let's look at something else that starts with the letter P. Ready? Ooh, it's a panda. I know that panda starts with the letter P because I hear the P sound at the beginning. Listen, panda. Did you hear it? Great. Let's look at one more picture. Ooh, look, it's a parrot. Can you say parrot? Great. I know that parrot starts with the letter P because I hear the P sound at the beginning. Listen, parrot. Did you hear it? Fantastic. We just looked at three things that start with the P sound. That means they start with the letter P. We saw a pizza, a panda, and a parrot. Great job, everyone. Tomorrow, we're going to practice writing our uppercase P and our lowercase P. But for now, it's time to talk about our number of the week. Do you remember what this week's number is? If you said the number three, you are correct. Our number of the week is three. Let's practice writing the number three. You'll need your magic finger. Great. We start at the top. Go around the tree, around the tree. That's the way we make a three. Awesome. Remember, when we go around, we don't go all the way around. Just part of the way. Let's try it again. Around the tree around the tree. That's the way we make a three. Awesome work. Okay, it's time to put our apples on the apple tree. How many apples will we have on our tree? If you said three, you are correct. Let's put three apples on our apple tree. Ready? Count with me. One, two, three. Great job. Well, we just put three apples on our apple tree. Let's count them again. Remember, I like to point when I'm counting. It helps me keep track of which ones I've already counted. Ready? One, two, three. Awesome. We have three apples on our apple tree. Okay. Now it's time for our color of the week. Do you remember our color of the week? If you said orange, you are correct. Our color of the week is orange. Yesterday, we learned the orange song. Today, we're going to sing it again. I'll, we'll sing it two times. I'll sing it first. And if you know the words, you can sing with me and then we'll sing it together the second time. Ready? O-R-A, 
N G E O R A N G E O R A N G E Orange is what that spells Jack o' lanterns are always orange Carrots are always orange Oranges are always orange O R A N G E Great work! You just listened to our orange song and some of you even sang along with me. Let's sing it together one more time. Ready? O-R-A-N-G-E 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 Orange is what that spells. Jack-o'-lanterns are always orange. Carrots are always orange. Oranges are always orange. O-R-A-N-G-E. Awesome work. You did it. You just sang the orange song with me. If you want to sing it again, you can rewind the video and practice more and more until you have it just right. But for now, it's time to talk about our shape for today. Remember, this week we're reviewing all the shapes we've learned. We talked about a circle and a rectangle. Today, we're going to talk about another shape. This shape has four sides, four corners and all of the sides are exactly the same. Do you remember what shape has four sides, four corners and all the sides are exactly the same? If you said a square, you are correct. Today we are talking about a square. Remember, a square is just a special rectangle. It has four sides and four corners, just like a rectangle. But on a square, all the sides are exactly the same size. Let's look at pictures of shapes. And you're going to tell me which one is a square. Ready? Ooh. Which one is a square? If you're pointing to the cracker, you are correct. The cracker is a square shape. Okay, let's try another one. Which one is a square? If you're pointing to the window, you are correct. The window is a square. Let's try one more. Hmm, which one is a square? If you pointed to the book, you are correct. The book is a square. It has four sides, four corners, and all the sides are the same size. Perfect, okay? It's time to draw a square. Remember, when we draw a square, all of our lines have to be the same size. Let's start at the top, go across, and stop. Good, go down the same length, and stop. Perfect, go back across, stop, and right back up to where we started, stop. Great work. You just drew a square. This week, we have been talking about so many different things. We talked about our letter, our number, our color, and we just talked about a shape that we've learned, the square. Now it's time to take a brain break because we've been learning so many things. And after our brain break, 
it'll be time for our daily message. We have a fun activity plan for our daily message. So take a brain break and make sure you come right back for our daily message. Hello friends, welcome back to Circle Time. Did you enjoy your brain break? Awesome. Well, now it's time for our daily message. Our daily message is going to tell us what we're learning about today. Are you ready to read our message? Great. We use pumpkins to make different foods in the fall. Wow, our message is a little long today. Let's read it one more time. You try to read it with me this time. Ready? We use pumpkins to make different foods in the fall. Great work. You just read today's message. Before we talk about our message, we're going to look for our letter of the week. Do you remember what this week's letter is? It makes the P sound. If you said the letter P, you are correct. Our letter of the week is P. Let's put it on our board so we remember what it looks like. And we'll look at our message and see if we can find uppercase P's or lowercase P's. Are you ready? Put your detective goggles on. Awesome. Let's look. Hmm. Can you find a P in our message? Maybe there's more than one. Oh, I found some. Did you find the letter P? Perfect. I found two P's. Let's see if we can find the P's together. We'll follow along our message and see if we can find two P's. We'll start at the top on the left. Ready? We're looking for the letter P. It makes the P sound. Oh look, here is a P. Let's underline it. Is this an uppercase P or a lowercase P? Is it an uppercase P or a lowercase P? If you said a lowercase p, you are correct. It starts in the middle of the line and it's a long letter down. It looks like our lowercase p. Let's look for our second p. We stopped right here, so we'll keep moving to the right. Oh look, here is our second p. Let's underline this one. Is this an uppercase p or a lowercase p? If you said a lowercase p, you are correct. This is a lowercase p. It starts in the middle of our line and it comes further down, like our lowercase p. Great work, everyone. You just found all the p's in today's message. Now it's time to read our message one more time and then we'll talk about it. We use pumpkins to make different foods in the fall. Today, we're going to talk about the different foods that we can make with pumpkins. Yesterday, we cut open a pumpkin and we got to see the pulp inside of a pumpkin. People use the pulp of a pumpkin to make different foods. I'm going to show you some pictures of different foods that people make with pumpkins. Are you ready? Great. Here's our first picture. It's pumpkin pie. People can use the pulp of a pumpkin to make pumpkin pie. Let's see what else we can make with pumpkins. Oh look, it's pumpkin soup. Have you ever had pumpkin soup before? 
I've never tried pumpkin soup, but we can make soup with pumpkins. Let's look at another food. Ooh, it's pumpkin bread. I've had pumpkin bread before. It's very yummy. People use pumpkins to make bread. Let's see what else we can make with pumpkins. Ooh, that looks really yummy. It's pumpkin pancakes. Have you had pancakes before? Have you ever had pumpkin pancakes? I've never tried pumpkin pancakes, but I'm sure they're delicious. Let's look at one more food that people make with pumpkins. Ready? Ooh, it's a pumpkin muffin or cupcake. People make cupcakes and muffins with pumpkins. Great work, everyone. We just looked at different foods that people make with pumpkins. Today, we're going to sing a little rhyme about five little pumpkins. And at the end of our rhyme, we're going to have a special food, pumpkin pie. I have some pumpkin friends to help us today. Let's see. Remember, our song is about five little pumpkins. I made five pumpkins to go along with our song. And the pumpkins grow on long green things. Do you remember what they're called? Vines. So I have five little pumpkins and they're each on a vine. Okay, are you ready? Great. Five little pumpkins on a vine. Five little pumpkins that are mine. I pull one off and then I sigh. I can't wait for pumpkin pie. How many pumpkins do I have left? Yes, I have one, two, three, four. Okay, are you ready? Let's sing it again. Four little pumpkins on a vine. Four little pumpkins that are mine. I pull one off and then I sigh. I can't wait for pumpkin pie. How many pumpkins do I have left? I have three pumpkins. That's our number of the week. Let's count the pumpkins. Ready? One, two, three. Great work. Let's sing. Ready? Three little pumpkins on a vine. Three little pumpkins that are mine. I pull one off and then I sigh. I can't wait for pumpkin pie. How many pumpkins do we have left? Two, great work. Okay, let's sing about our two pumpkins. Two little pumpkins on a vine. Two little pumpkins that are mine. I pull one off and then I sigh. I can't wait for pumpkin pie. How many pumpkins are left? We have one pumpkin. Let's sing about our one pumpkin. One little pumpkin on a vine. One little pumpkin that is mine. I pull one off and then I sigh. No more pumpkins on my vine. No little pumpkins on a vine. No little pumpkins that are mine. But I don't have to sigh because it's time for pumpkin pie. Yes, it's time to make pumpkin pie with our five little pumpkins. I love pumpkin pie. Did you enjoy our rhyme about 
our five little pumpkins? Great! If you want to sing this rhyme and make little pumpkin fingers, I used green felt to make the vine and the stem on the pumpkins, and I used orange felt to cut out my pumpkins. I'll put a link in the description below for your parents to look at. They'll have a copy of the rhyme and directions on how to make pumpkin puppets. Wow, I had lots of fun today. We learned about many different foods that are made with pumpkins and we got to sing a fun pumpkin rhyme. We started off with five pumpkins and we went all the way to zero. That means none. Tomorrow, I have a fun art activity planned with pumpkins. So make sure you join me for circle time tomorrow. Bye friends, see you tomorrow. Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And if you would like to see more videos just like this one from Miss April's classroom, make sure you click subscribe.